Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's up, boys? Today, uh, what I was doing is I've been driving in the rain all day because, uh, well, I live in Florida, so it's been raining. But I was up at Dad's this weekend, and there's a cool fish store up there. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'll stop in, take a little peek. So I drove on over there, went inside, checked it out, realized, mm, it's kind of overpriced, but then I saw something that caught my eye. It ended up being a fish that I didn't know was in the pet trade. I thought it was just solely like, you don't even eat these things. It's a strictly, it's a game fish. They're very, very like a respected fish. Like everyone tries to take super, super good care of them. Other than like, you know, some YouTubers who just take bad pictures with them and pull them out of the water. But we're not going to, we're not talking about that. Oh, yikes. Did I burn that bridge? Oops. Sorry. Don't care. What we can do is we can grow one ourselves. So I got a special little fishy at home that I won't say what it is yet because you guys need to see it to believe it. Like I had to see it to believe it. I even called Augie on the phone. I sent him a Snapchat. He's like, I didn't know those were like a thing, like other than just in the ocean. I'm like, I didn't either. So we are going to run inside. We got to get, uh, well, one, I think I got to divide the tank just for a few weeks, just to grow him up a little bit, make sure he's good. He's in his own thing. Cause I don't want the grouper picking on him or anything. Pretty sure the grouper could eat him, uh, because of the, the diameter of him, but the length of him, I think is what's going to save him. I think what we need to do is we're going to go inside. We're going to get a, uh, a divider of some sort. I think I'm going to do the, the fluorescent light, uh, like, uh, the milk crate looking, uh, it's kind of. So we're gonna grab that. And then I think also we're gonna grab maybe a big pot or something if we see it to put into the pond because I think the catfish and some of the other fish may like to go inside something. Some of you guys recommended adding structure and all that. We can't add it today. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow because I need to, uh, well, the tank's super cloudy. I've been gone for uh, about a few days. So uh, the tank just, it's going through an algae cycle right now. So you guys gotta kind of bear with me. So it may not look be like, you know, perfectly clear, but we're working on it, okay? It's, go it's new, it's going through an algae cycle. It's getting fish added to it constantly and very rapidly than most, but I'm making sure I'm doing every precaution I can to make sure no fish die for you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run inside all uh, home to pot. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's uh, right, uh, is, out, is out there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there, we're gonna get our stuff, and then we're gonna go home and I'll show you guys this fish. Okay, bye. Alrighty boys, here's the grate I was telling you all about. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Is this guy serious right now? Like nobody wants to hear him, you know? All right boys, I found something, but I didn't wanna be the guy talking to myself in the aisle. So uh, I moved it a few aisles over. Check this big old freaking thing out. It's like up to my, uh, lower knee bone or something like that but look it's got holes in it so it should sink it is a uh, plastic so that's the only thing i'm a little concerned about but uh it should sink and it's big so this should work pretty good oh, 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 oh yeah oh yeah that big old thing right there and this guy right here nice oh what's up boys it's uh it's it's the next day but it's gonna end up going back to the day before and then at the end of the video it's gonna come back to the day so yeah i don't know ask like the marvel guys they know about the timeline and stuff you know for all my movie nerds <laughs> okay well i cleaned the filter it didn't do much yet it's actually cleared up actually quite a bit since uh what, oh my god you guys are getting foggy on me sorry about that so the filter's really only been cleaned for about uh like a few hours and it's already i would say about 30 percent cleaner I can actually start seeing the two pots that are in there now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna unclip this net right here because I don't really wanna get in the water, which I need to get in the water, but I don't. I just need to take a net and scoop the air stone out because as you can see, it's just uh, giving it one of those old <laughs> things, you know? So we're not needing all that. It's not really doing me a whole lot. Not giving me a bunch of the bubblies, you know what I'm saying? And the bubbles are actually nice because it helps uh, circulate the water as well. Like it gives it some movement other than just that on top there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unclip all this. I, uh, I rinse this, this bin out so it's all ready here it is right here boom good nothing in it i'm just going to kind of go around and peel off any of these little little dangle pieces there and uh we should be good so i'm gonna go ahead and sink it in there well sink it we're gonna try and sink it i don't want to drill any holes that are already not drilled into it if that makes sense like there's holes in the bottom of it but i don't want to add more holes if it doesn't sink because if it doesn't sink i'm gonna go take this thing back so uh yeah let's see if it sinks let's fill it up with water oh yeah that's nice i wish i could show you guys more of this process but uh i kind of can't because it's just me home right now i'm not sure where i'll use that mr Os Oscar's trying to figure out what this thing is. Let it sink all the way. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, boys, it kind of floats a little bit. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it floating around, right? It was totally sunk. I think what I need to do is put a brick inside it and then sink it. But I don't think I have, have any bricks. So uh, yeah, how about you just come back uh, like on Thursday and, and I might have this fixed. Uh, Thursday, oh, I upload Thursday, by the way, Mondays and Thursdays, uh, 8.15 Eastern time. 
if you guys are in the United States. I guess I don't know why I added the United States part, because the, the time zone's the same anywhere. I, I don't have a college degree, okay? Well, you know, just come back Thursday. We'll have a better hide, all right? Whatever. All right, boys. Well, the divider is put in. I cut it up, measured it, and we it's basically wedged in there. And I have all three of the other fish over here. So we got the wrasse, the snapper, and the groupers hiding behind the rock. And then now, for the moment of, I, I guess, of truth, I never really said what this fish was. Oh, yeah, son. And look at this, boys. This right here is an Atlantic tarpon. So this guy can literally get, I'll put pictures up on the screen for you guys, giant. And I never knew these guys were part of the pet trade. I also don't know how well they do in captivity. This is a total experiment. He was 65 bucks, so I don't know. So let's put him in the tank. So all the fish, he's gonna be totally on his own. I'm gonna make sure he's fed probably once a day to beef him up as quick as possible because I've learned that now with the pond outside that you can beef up these fish very, very quick. So he's already been acclimated for anybody who's curious. I did all that earlier. He is now ready to go into the tank here and I'm gonna let him swim out entirely on his own. Go ahead, buddy, you're free. Yeah, there you go, son. That is so weird but cool at the same time. We have a tarpon in the fish tank, Augie. Yeah. That's so stupid. Look at him, he's chilling. That is our new buddy. I will, um, I'm gonna try and feed him tomorrow. I'm gonna let him chillax for the night. I'm gonna turn off a little bit of the lights here. Let him relax a little bit. Let him get used to where he is. They're not necessarily reef fish. So he's probably gonna just be exploring all of the empty water. So other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. What's up boys? It's the next day. You already know that from earlier, but now it's really the next day. I don't know what I'm saying. As you can see, he's doing really good. I tried feeding him about 10, 15, maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes ago. I don't know. And I uh, just gave a little bit and he didn't show any interest in it. So I think he's still getting used to his new surroundings and I understand that, but he's moving a lot more. He's not afraid of me like approaching the tank at all. So I guess that's good. I don't know how long the fish store had these guys prior to me buying it. I, also, I thought this was kind of odd. So when I looked up, me and Augie looked up after we finished yesterday, uh, putting him in the tank, how fast that they grow. Cause we knew they were a slower growing fish. Like some of these 300 pound plus fish are close to 30, 40, maybe even 50 years old. Like these things live a long time. So it takes them a while to get to that size. I think we can get them to about a foot, foot and a half pretty quickly. But after that, I think is where it's gonna kind of just sit and just slowly, gradually grow and grow and grow. But on top of all that, while we were looking at that, we also found out that it even says in the article, in the state of Florida, the sale of these fish, like live fish like this, the meat, anything, is prohibited. So I don't understand, maybe this article is old? It told me that these are basically illegal to own, but I bought it at a fish store. They didn't ask for any like class A or class A, B, C, whatever it is license. They just sold it to me. So FWC, please don't come knocking at my door. I mean, you're more than welcome to. I, I don't have a receipt because I said no to the receipt, but I'll tell you the fish store I got it at. I just don't want to tell you online because well, I don't want to get them in trouble unless like, unless I'm going down. Because if I'm going down, we're all going down, all right? We're, we're, we're taking the whole freaking team down, all right? So I don't know. I'm not sure the rules and regulations on it necessarily, but if it's in a store and they sold it, well, obviously they clearly ordered them to get them there. So it's been through a few different hands before it got to me. So that's all I'm saying. I, I didn't pose it as a fish store because I caught it 30 yards down the street. I swear to God, I did not do that. I fully was in a fish store. I promise it was in Daytona Beach. So throwing it out there that in Daytona Beach, there's a fish store that's selling that guy right there. So I just wanted to preface that at the end of the video because these are the people who actually care. Actually, no, the keyboard warriors are going to type away before I, the moment I said tarpon. So you know what? Whatever. But he's doing really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, uh, I upload these those days. So uh, yeah, come back. All right, bye.